What is up everybody? So on this tutorial, I want to tell you about Trello. All right, so in a second, I'm going to be showing you my screen, but Trello is a, definitely a, an app or a tool or software that you want to use to make sure that you're being consistent with your productivity. So as you start getting more in your business and you're trying to balance your business and your, your, your personal life, your work life, your family life, your church life, your parent life, all of those things, um, and juggling them all together, Trello will help you keep some um, focus and some clarity and some organization and structuring to make sure that you get any and all of your things done. All right, so I use this app for myself. Um, I, um, within the few recent weeks, um, since, um, I've incorporated a lot of my, my VAs into this app. So this is how we work together. Um, right now, if you're in the beginning stages, you won't have to get teams and all that stuff. One cool thing about it, it does have a free forever plan. All right. So as long as you stay within those restrictions, um, because it's a free account, then you won't have to upgrade. If you ever start, well, not if, when you start generating income in your business, you can always upgrade if you really and thoroughly enjoy the app. All right. So I'm going to share my screen and show you a little bit about it so you can see how it works. Also, um, if you would like for me to, um, if you would like for us, I should say, to work together within Trello, I can send you a link and you can join me inside Trello. So on top of our one-on-one -on -one sessions and on top of when you're working, I can monitor, monitor you um, a little bit more closely and help give you that little nudge so you can keep things moving when you need it. <clears throat> and when we come back to our calls, I can see where you've come from or where you are at, and we can communicate and converse there. And this is on top of the Facebook group and the Discord group. This one to just be a little bit more intimate, where I can watch everybody, what they're doing, and, be, and, and build a better communication between us both. So um, you won't always feel like you're alone. All right. So when you learn when you're in Trello, if you join this workspace, you'll see that it's a little bit more closer together versus the Facebook group and the Discord groups, all right? But at the end of the day, you also have access to me um, through those other platforms um, and those communities. And you can always just book a one-on-one -on -one session with me on Zoom within the course if you need the extra help. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Once you click the link that'll bring you to this site, this is um, be the landing page where you can sign up. Uh, I'll break this down very briefly, briefly so I can show you how the actual software works. All right, but this is Trello. Like I said, it's kind of like a, a task organizer for productivity, but it brings all your task teammates and tools together, keeping everything in the same place, even if your team is it. All right, so it's a productivity powerhouse, simple, flexible, and a powerful tool. All it takes is boards, lists, and cards to get a clear view of who's doing what and what needs to get done, right? And I'm gonna show you each board and show you each list and show you each card. Um, a lot of people using this uh, for project management, meetings, onboarding, and then also there's task management, which um, as you're learning in your business and you're growing and you're building your business, it's to help make sure that you're getting all the tasks done, right? And um, a cool thing about it also has an app. So um, once you uh, create your account, you can go to the Play Store or the App Store, <coughs> the Play Store or the App Store and download the app and it'll be on your phone and they got a widget as well. All right, so um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, the user face is really, really nice. It looks real nice. They got tons of integration um, and stuff that you can incorporate to. Uh, one of them I use is um, like Google Drive and Dropbox and Zapier. All right, but as you can see, they got a free forever plan. This is for individuals or teams that can organize any project. All right, and I'll break that down. Um, it is limited for $5 a month. Um, you can move up and it's for small teams that need to manage work and scale collaborations. So $5 a month isn't that bad if you want to um, invest in your business. This is for teams that need to track and visualize multiple projects in several ways, including boards, timelines, calendars, and et cetera, right? So even if you are somewhere in your business and you're trying to do a whole lot more, it's just 10 bucks a month. And then 1750 is the mega one for organization that need to connect works across teams with more security and so controls. You might be international or whatever, but really and truthfully, if you're just starting out, especially just deal with the free version and you could probably use it 
forever because it is a forever plan, right? <clears throat> but at the at, at the most, if you just need five dollars or whatever, if you have five dollars, it only be five dollars a month or whatever. All right, so um, I'll dive into some of the plans. Let me see here. Let's see what they get. All right, so the free forever plan, this is what you'll get. You'll get unlimited cards, which is great. Up to 10 boards, okay? And I'll show you what boards is. You get unlimited power-ups. I'll show you what that is. The style uh, for, uh, uh, storage uh, capacity is 10 megabytes. All right, you get 250 workspace command runs per month, custom backgrounds and stickers, unlimited activity log, assignee and due dates. And it's for iOS as well as um, for the apps and two-factor authentication. But for the $5 a month, you'll get all of that. Plus uh, the unlimited boards, the advanced checklist, custom fields, 250 megabytes of file storage, a thousand workspace runs, workspace runs per month and a single board guest and save searches. All right, um, but they're, they're really, really good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside and show how we can use it together and how it can help you as well. Okay, so this is what it looks on the inside What you once you create your Trello account. Um, yours is not gonna have any of all this stuff. You're not gonna have workspaces. Um, you'll probably be able to see some templates, but for the most part, it's gonna be pretty bare and blank. All right, um, so, uh, just keep that in mind so you don't get confused. Um, they, they have some templates um, and then uh, they, this is just the home screen. This is my account. You can set up your account with your personal information, upload a picture or whatever. All right. But um, there's three things you have to understand. There's boards and there's cards and then there's um, uh, there's boards, there's cards and then let me see. All right, so we're just creating board, all right? So um, as you can see, guys, this is a this is the free account, by the way. This is a free account right here. So I want you to see how it's gonna look in the free version. Plus I'm using this free account to build something separate for me and my team so I can work with my students and my clients as well. All right, so these are some of the things I've just been playing with it in here, that, like how I can make it helpful for you guys, but I want you to know how to use it for your own self as well with the stuff that you're trying to do. But once you're on the inside, the first thing you wanna do is create a board, all right? A board is kind of similar to a um, post-it note. So it's you know, uh, the place where all your information is gonna be, all right? But you would just give it a board title. I'm just gonna put test board here. All right, so workspaces um, um, for if you're gonna have uh, um, people working with you or whatever. And then they have the private, the private is for only you and then public, which is for other people can see, but only the board members can edit, all right? But that's what it would say right there. I didn't mean to do that. So we'll just put test board, all right? And then what you would do is click uh, create. Now they do have some templates in here. You can check those out, but I don't want to complicate and overwhelm everybody or confuse everybody. So once you do that, you click create. All right, so this is, this entire space you're seeing is the board, all right? So you could customize and change the backgrounds like this one, I do not like one bit. <laughs> But you can um, customize and change the background. You can add your own pictures, your own colors, and then they have templates as well. All right, so this part is considered a board. All right, so the next um, thing is gonna be your list. All right, so where it says add list, this is the list of things that you want done. All right, and this whole thing right here is called a card, okay? So we're, this is the board, all right? And this is your list, okay? So say I just wanted to put, um, what do we want to get done today? Uh, create funnel, okay? And then you just hit enter, and now you have that that uh, that list right there, all right? And then it just shoots over. But what you want to do is this, all right? So when you're just starting out, we're going to edit this, right? 
you're gonna you're gonna get to do. All right, and then this one is going to be doing. And then this one is gonna be to put done or complete. All right, enter. All right, so we won't need this one, we're just closing. All right, so these are things that need to get done. These are the things you're doing and this is what's done or complete. All right, so this is how you're gonna start it out. All right, so now you wanna add a card. All right, so this is the actual thing that you're going to actually do. All right. So now we can go back, we can put create funnel. All right, I can't spell today. Boom, all right, and you can put um, optimize funnel, all right. Um, integrate funnel, I'm just making up stuff guys, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, remote funnel. All right. So those are the things you want to get done. Now you can make it super broad like that if you want. Um, if you understand what it means, but it goes a whole lot deeper as well. So I want you to understand this whole thing is a board, right? These are, are is, is your list cards. And then this is your actual list. Okay. All right, so now let's say, for example, that you, part of your creating funnel, you want to add some other stuff into it. So you would just click that, and then this window is going to open up. So if you, if there's some details you wanted to put in here in the description, you can add that. So I could put, we will be using click funnels to create sales funnels. All right, bam, just like that. And I could, what I could do, I could link this so it could be click, uh, clickable so I can go straight to click funnel. So say if I was working with a team, right? And I could hyperlink this so they can see where where to, uh, where to start. So it would, they could click that text, which would be hyperlink and then click it and send them to click funnels, right? So they would have to create their account. All right, just using this as an example, all right? And it's kind of like any kind of like doc, you can attach stuff, attach and insert a link. Um, you can insert all of these things, emojis, quotes. Um, you can add a picture, add an image link or whatever. Um, then you can you know, format your text and your fonts and stuff. Just kind of like, like a regular um, um, Google doc or whatever or Microsoft Word, so that's what that's for. All right, so when you're done with that, you could just click save, and then you know, th that would be right up under here in the description, and you can always come back and edit it. All right, so another thing you could do, you could add members. All right, so right now it's just me, but say if I wanted to add one of you guys to this, um, I could add you, right? And the labels is just stuff that you wanna you know, keep color coded, so all of my stuff that got to do with funnels, I can make it green, all right? And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, let me see, so I just make that one green, so I know anybody who sees green that I'm working with, or if it's just for myself, then know it's got something to do with funnels, all right? So if I close this, you see that green went right over here, okay? So that lets me know that this has something to do with funnels, all right? But we'll go back into here, all right? So there's the labels. Now you can also have a checklist. All right, so say um, this is to create a funnel. So say there's some multiple tasks I need to get done up under this particular um, to, do, to do item. All right, so I could first put um, go to click funnels. All right, and you see now it's going right here up under the description, under this card. That's the first thing. All right, my second thing could be create a an account or click funnels. Now we'll click add. Oh, some reason, um, there you go. 
Oh. Okay, yeah, so there we go. I didn't see it pop up. <laughs> All right, and then my third thing would be um, um, get sales copy for funnel. All right, so all it is doing is just going right here, okay? So um, each thing you want to put up under there will be in a list, all right? And you can assign these things to different people, right? So if I went here, I could assign this to somebody, all right? But this isn't on the free trial, all right? So you will have to upgrade, all right? But if it's just you, you wouldn't have to worry about that, all right? And you could also um, assign dates and add members as well in the upgraded version, all right? And then if uh, you can convert to a card, which was instead of it just being inside this list, you can put it into an actual card like we just created, all right? So that's the checklist. And this is where you could set dates or whatever. So you can put this uh, uh, as, as a reminder. Uh, you can set a day before your reminder and then the due date when you need it done, you could put here, all right? So we won't have to worry about that, just showing you. You can also add attachments, all right? So you can upload something from your computer, all right? Let's say if I wanted to show an image or something, or there's something in my Google Drive or my Google Docs, my Dropbox, my OneDrive, whatever it is, you can add an image there. This is stuff that you can use um, like say, for example, if you're doing your content and you want to do um, some content around funnels, for example, and you saw a video that inspired you, right? You can add that link to that video here, okay? Add that link to that video here so you can come back for quick, quick reference, all right? So you would just put that URL link right there and then you would click uh, uh, attach, but you can also do files and things as well all right so that's what a tab uh attachment is a cover is if you was wanting uh to give it a special look so it pops out right and you can put your own cover image that's what you want to do that's just fun to if you want to um make it unique and special and then customer uh custom fields if you want to um add any of those things but you can't really do it on the free trial all right but um you can add drop down men, uh, menus, text fields, dates, and um, other stuff as all. Well. My, my telegram is blowing up here, all right? <clears throat> but that's um, in the, the next one up, you guys, you have to get that uh, upgrade. Also, there is add power-ups right here. And power-ups is just to, um, it's just like some extra spunk that you can do. Um, to make the the whole process of it process of it um, a whole lot fun. All right, uh, a lot of people call it gamification or whatever. But um, this is something you'll probably see when I start incorporating my clients and stuff into it to make it a whole lot fun. There's tons of power ups, all right, that you can you can do and integrations you can add and stuff in here. I won't go all in detail with all of this, but um, some of the power power ups do come in the free version. All right, but here are just a few of them. You can do analytics and reporting, um, file management, sales and support, IT, HR, file management, all of those cool things. All right, so once you create your account, you can take a look at those things and see if you want to give them a shot. All right, so now back to where we are. We got the, you could add a button. All right, so um, you can move the, uh, the, the card to a different place. You can copy the card, you can add a label, you can join the cards, add, uh, set a due date, mark due date or remove, and you can add that button into the card. So if you wanna move it to the right, that would be a button on that card. So I guess I just do one, but just do that right there. Um, move, and you can name it uh, to the right here. And we can say bottom, all right? So add action, okay? And then boom. And I'll show you what that is in a second. All right, so you can also copy this. You can make it a template, right? So if I created this and I wanna use this for all of my students to join with me, I can make it a template. That's what I'm actually doing. Um, 
um, behind the scenes. Archive is delete and share is to share with other people. All right. Now, the cool thing about it, so like this one has a list, all right? So we'll go back in here. So as the list is getting done, right? So we got go to click funnels, that's check. And you'll see the bar be moving so you can see how far it's going, whatever. So if we had a lot of this, the bar would be um, shorter or whatever. Um, so you can do that as well. And you can see right here, it says one of two done. Right, so you can check it right there and see how far you're getting or your team is getting. All right, but um, the main the main thing what you would want to do once it's complete, I mean, you know, what, what, once you start, all right, so you have your list here, you'll move it to do doing, right? So you'll know you're doing this if you ever get distracted, what you're actually working on, and then done. All right, now look at this, guys. Um, this is going to help you be so much, so much more productive and keep everything all together. Even on our calls, you can use this app to write down the notes and stuff that we that you're going to need um, for our next call, which you can be working on. It'll help you keep track of those things. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I like it. But um, in your course, right? So say you're just starting out in the course, right? So if you if you're going through the videos, right? Um, some of the big bullet points of it, you can say, hey, let me um, make a Trello card for my mindset routine. And then when you're taking notes, you can put the notes over in Trello, right? So you can manually write them down, right? Or you can just do it in Trello as you're, as you're doing um, the course and put the checklist down like we just, like we just, uh, like I just demonstrated, all right? And you can say, hey, um, this is the book I need to read and you can, uh, track yourself with the trap chapters if you're doing the credit phase um all of these things from the content plan what videos you need to put right so if you if you click on the momentum content plan there's a 30 days of uh, calendar of content you need to put out and you can make trello cards out of those things so monday could be something tuesday wednesday thursday um because you get unlimited cards even in the free version Right, and even in the process of here now, in the course it checks out everything you're doing, right? But if you wanted to make it more detailed, right? So creating your account, like we just talked about, you know, hey, I gotta create my account. I gotta upload my, my Stripe, I gotta do this. All those little steps within the ClickFunnels, right? You can make a Trello card out of that, right? Um, so that's one unique cool tool you can use along the way even as you're learning the information about all of this, you guys. And then, like I said, at the end of the day, in time, there's gonna be a category or a link or a box. If you're just starting or somewhere in the middle or you reach a new milestone, you can click this link or whatever to join this Trello with me. Whether you wanna start at the beginning, in the middle or towards the end, right? That way I can watch you uh, and help you along the way, even in this app, all right? So I think it's really, really cool. Another cool thing about it, it's free forever. <laughs> That's what I love about it. And um, it can help you be real, real productive. When you're filling out your content calendar, if you haven't watched that video, this, uh, this app will help you track that out, the process of making sure that you complete that, batching your content, um, creating your work week, your daily routine and making sure it gets done, your mindset routine. You can even use it for your personal life, you guys. Balancing your personal life, your work life, your marriage life, your parent life, your kids life, all of those things you can use it. And there is an app that you can put on your phone so you can take it with you, all right? So we're always having our phones, right? But you may not have your notebook. You may not remember what was on the post it note and you can get into the habit of um, checking and checking off these things within Trello. I love it a lot. I hope you guys give it a shot. Um, let me know if you do, so I can um, make sure if you uh, give you the invite if you want to join on a deeper level within the affiliate income network system, so I can help you be productive, which will in turn make you very, very successful. You guys stay blessed, and I see you on the other side of success.